Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Monday's Minecraft, where I will be talking about Minecraft. Just recently, patch 1.8 has come out, the Adventure Pack. And let me tell you, there are quite a few things that I am enjoying about this. Bigger biomes, which is awesome, instead of the scatter shot effect, which is currently, you know, which was in the game for 1.7 and before. And NPC villages are kind of awesome too. I've discovered one on my map. Of course, some people might be divided a little bit about NPC villages because the way the game has been set up, you know, at least in survival single player, you're out in this world, you're the only person there. You're like the only person who's ever been on this world. Completely alone. And now they've changed that a little bit. Of course, you have the option of not having the villages. But currently in the game, there are no NPCs. So you can't be experiencing that. But the thing is, with the villages, <clears throat> you've had structures that were built by somebody else. And that's some implications that might change things a little bit for some people. Cool. Being completely alone, being the only person in the entire game ever to there used to be people here. Yeah, some people are, you know, it could be up for interpretation. But one thing that's in interesting is this new hunger meter that they've introduced into the game. Food doesn't heal you up like it used to. It used to be you eat your food, any damage you take goes up. But now you have a hunger meter and you eat food to fill your hunger bar. And when your hunger bar is full or near full, your character starts to slowly regenerate health. Kind of like peaceful mode, but a little bit slower. And another thing with the food is food items now stack. And a lot more animals actually drop meat. Chickens drop meat. And so do cows. They drop meat. So you have a large source of meat, and another thing which is, I think is kind of awesome, is that they've changed the lighting. Like when you put down torches and everything, it just kind of looks more natural. It looks a little bit more real. And of course, one thing that I particularly like, which they've done, is a slider on the brightness in the game. There might be times where go you know, you're exploring down the caves and of course naturally it's gonna be dark because oh that's just the mood that's you're right of course sometimes you might be working outdoors and you want it bright even when it's night so you can see what you're doing when I was building up until you know, recently I would go sleep in a bed whenever night came, even though I had my game on peaceful. But now, I can put it on. I don't have to carry the bed anymore because I can set it, the brightness all the way up. Even though night is darker, I can still see everything because the darkness, I mean, the game is, the, the night can be scaled up to where it's not as dark as it used to be which is a good thing. And one other thing which is kind of weird is, you know, for killing things, you get experience orbs, which have another bar on your user interface, which is your experience bar. You get experience, you level up, but currently in the game, there are no levels and there are no perks or practical any use whatsoever for the experience bar. I think currently 
you know, they put it in here so they can at least see that it works. You know, they want to see that it works in the game before they actually start implementing things that are depending on the experience working. And the same thing with the NPC villages. You know, they might be adding the NPCs in later, but I think currently they wanted to see that the NPC villages actually work. Now, some of the pre-release betas, there were a few glitches and stuff with the villages, but that seemed to be worked out a little better. And one of the odd things I've noticed, you may have noticed this too, with the new lighting engine, there are a few lighting glitches. There are some areas, especially the corners and sometimes treasure chests, aren't lit up. That's just probably a glitch in the game. And I've also introduced a new mode of play, creative. In creative, it's a whole different game from survival. You have an infinite supply of everything. Any block in the game can be destroyed with one hit. Even bedrock. So if you're not careful, you can go all the way to the bottom and through, and game over, you die. Now one thing on creative, there's no experience bar, there's no health bar, there's no hunger bar, because in game you cannot die. You're in effect immortal unless you go through the bottom of the map, and you know, basically just to get you back into the game world. Which I think is cool because, you know, it differs from survival, where in survival it's all about you know, the materials you gather have a value depending on, you know, based on the work and effort that you've put into getting them. You have a finite supply of stuff. Even though you may have an ungodly amount, it's still a finite amount. But with creative, you have an infinite amount of stuff. And flying is enabled, so you don't have to build, like, scaffoldings and structures to get up to wherever you may want to go. It's already there. I mean, the ability to fly is there. Basically letting creative juices flow. If you don't care about, if you, if you don't want to bother, you know, with gathering the resources, creative mode lets you build bigger stuff, more elaborate. Like say you wanted to make a pyramid out of diamond blocks. You can do that. Or you can create a lot of TNT and blow it up. I just recently built a 1,000 cube block of TNT. And I blew that sucker up. It was an awesome explosion. I'm currently working on a 4,000 block of TNT. Let's just see how that works. See what size of the crater 4,000 blocks will make. But it'll be interesting. And as always, have fun and keep gaming.